that I've picked up over the last two or three weeks or so. Uh, I wanted to do it while the, the DC Cinematic Universe video I did was relatively recent. You guys have been showing a ton of love on that video. A lot of great comments and all that stuff. So I uh, wanted to kind of continue the comic book trend uh, while we were at it. So I wanted to show you some recent comic book pickups. I don't have it done here, but there's a few, some interesting things you guys might uh, like here. Starting with, what is this? Dynamite Comics 007, Ian Fleming's James Bond 007 issue one. Now, I did not know they made James Bond comic books. Clearly this is number one, so um, this particular storyline, this is the start of it, whatever's going on here. I haven't read it yet. I uh, haven't read any of these yet, but excited to get into some of these over, you know, the next little while here. But as you can see, he doesn't really appear to be modeled after any of the James Bond actors that we've uh, had so far. So it's like an original looking James Bond, seemingly an original James Bond story. It looks like he might be in Moscow or something of that nature. So excited to read that Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. Now, um, my comic book store has these rows and rows of long boxes where everything inside the long boxes is 50 cents. Right, it's all 50 cents, two for a dollar. And uh, I've been wanting to get into some Superman comics. I don't have a ton of Superman stuff. Um, my main collection is Nightwing and Batman, and so I wanted to get into Superman a bit more because I've been just watching a bunch of videos on Superman and been interested in his storyline. So I found some concurrent Superman issues um, in those 50 cent boxes, starting with Action Comics 858, and this is Superman in the Legion of Superheroes, Part 1. This is the start of this storyline, Superman in the Legion of Superheroes, Part 1. Uh, and this is written by Jeff Johns, Jeff Johns, legendary DC Comics uh, writer. Action Comics 858 from December of 2007. Follow that one up with Action Comics 859, which is Superman and the Legion of Superheroes Part 2. Some good tapping there. Again, Jeff Johns doing this... Uh, entire run, seemingly. You guys, a very interesting cover art there. You see Superman, and you see these, a statue of Superman, a statue of these other superheroes, but they have, like, graffiti and vandalism on them. And there's this bit at the bottom that says, uh, aliens go home. Aliens go home there at the bottom. And this is from January 2008. Next up, you guessed it, Action Comics 860, Superman and the Legion of Superheroes, Part 3. Very interesting cover art there. You have like a evil looking version of uh, this, the team. It looks like that's like an evil looking Superman and some other heroes there, or villains rather. Next up, Action Comics 861 from March 2008. Superman and the Legion of Superheroes Part 4. And on the cover you have Superman and there's like a bunch of Brainiac um, clones or Brainiac, uh, I forget what they're called, behind him with these like um, electronic looking tendrils going into Superman's head. So. A perilous situation there for the Man of Steel on the cover. Alright. Second to last Action Comics that I picked up. Action
Action Comics 862, Superman and the Legion of Superheroes Part 5, Superman not actually making an appearance on this cover at all. I'm assuming this is probably the group they're facing off against in this issue. And the last Action Comics that I picked up, well, of this set, I picked up some other ones. Um, Action Comics 863 from May of 2008, Superman and the Legion of Superheroes finale. This is the finale of this little storyline, and I thought it was pretty cool that I was able to pick up the entire run of this little story for 50 cents each. I think that's like three bucks total for all six of these comics. And, uh, I get a cool little Superman sub-story to read here. Um, I'm in the Legion of Superheroes, so definitely gonna read that and check it out, because, like I said, I've been wanting to get into Superman a bit, read some Superman stories, and I was able to find one for, uh, a really good price. Alright, some more 50 Cent comics. Um... This is some DC Universe Rebirth stuff. Here we have uh, Action Comics 963, and it's Superman Meet Clark Kent Part 1. So I'll be interested in seeing what this is all about. It may be like somehow there's a clone of Clark Kent, or the Superman alter ego has been separated from the Clark Kent alter ego somehow. I'm not sure interested to see what this is all about, but Action Comics number 963 DC Universe Rebirth. And this is from November 2016. Um, here we have Superman Action Comics number 964 DC Universe Rebirth. Um, this is Jurgens, Searcher, and Ariola as your, uh, your three names here running this comic. Interesting cover art here. You have Clark Kent and Superman in like the Leonardo da Vinci pose, Daily Planet behind them, split in half. So I do think something happened and Clark and Superman were separated somehow. Uh, Superman Action Comics number 965. You have a bunch of the guys at the Daily Planet. A woman walking by. Clark Kent looking un, uh, unfazed by it all. While everyone else is kind of uh, gawking at her. Especially Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy Olsen gawking heavy. Look at my man right there. My man has never, he's, he's fallen in love. It's not love, Jimmy. It's not love. Alright. Um, now, the last Superman book I picked up, Superman Action Comics 966. And, uh, I think that's like a, a, desi a interestingly designed Supergirl. It might not be Supergirl, it might be somebody else, but... Um, you have her there, and she has this, like, red lightning around, and Superman looking on pretty proudly, which makes me think it is Supergirl, but... Yep, so I picked up that, uh, series of Superman. Let's see if I can figure out who it is. Um... I'm just gonna look and see if I can figure out who this is. Superman has a son. Also, concurrent issues, which is really cool. Um, 
here we have DC Universe Rebirth, Al Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number one. You have Al Jordan on the cover there, the Green Power Lantern behind him. Very cool looking. And this is from September of 2016. Al Jordan, Green Lantern Corps number one. Now, Al Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number two. And here you see you have John Stewart on the front. Um, so bring him into the mix. It looks like that also might be Guy Gardner back there. So Guy Gardner and John Stewart are in this issue as well, which is cool. Is there anybody else? I think is his name Kilowog. I think his name might be Kilowog. I always forget, but I think that's Kilowog. And then um, finally we have. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number three. And you see on the cover here, he's facing off against some yellow lanterns. Although, notably, not Sinestro. Sinestro is not present there. So, facing some yellow lanterns. Alright, and that's it for those Green Lantern books I picked up. Uh, a few other random things. I got this True Believers House of M number one. This is this thing that Marvel's been doing where they publish, like, old classic stories that, like, are, you know, pretty well-known and famous stories, and they sell them for one dollar. So this is only one dollar. That's, like, their, their true believers label. That's what that's all about. So House of M, classic Marvel story. Um, pretty famous one. Astonishing X-Men New Avengers, House of M, number one. Um... Let's see here. I don't think this isn't the whole. Yeah, this isn't the whole thing, obviously. But there's more, I think. Yeah, this isn't the whole story, obviously, but House of M. And then this is the comic book, the uh, Batman Foundation Fortnite comic um, from. Was this from? It doesn't say, but this, uh, this is a, like a year or two old at this point, and I was shocked to still find this sitting on the shelf, uh, sealed at face value. So I paid five dollars for this, uh, still with the code inside to unlock the Batman Who Laughs skin in Fortnite, which is my reason for buying this comic, of course, but um. The code, like if you just buy the code for this skin, like on G2A or CD Keys or something, it's like twenty dollars at this point. And they had a whole stack of these just sitting on the shelf at the comic book store I went to in Canada. I probably should have bought more of them uh, and sold the codes, but that's not really what I do. I'm not a reseller or anything, but. Yeah, Batman Foundation Fortnite. I got it at face value. Got the code for the Batman Who Laughs. Pretty cool. And finally, I got this free, uh, like, Marvel previews book. So it shows, like, all the upcoming, um, all the upcoming comics from Marvel over the rest of this year. Um, and if you want to see the comic book, I got it too, just to give a shout out to them. Another Dimension Comics. Yeah. It says, 2022, serving Calgary for 39 years, 42AB, 10th Street Northwest, Calgary, Alberta, D2N, 1V6. So, I got this, uh, where I got the Batman Foundation comic in Calgary. So, if you live near Calgary, and you want that skin, they might still have some copies of that Fortnite comic left, but... Um, yeah, there's all your previews for the upcoming comics. So you have Spider-Man number one and the Spider-Verse. That's pretty cool. Uh, getting in number one Spider-Man. Get in on the ground floor of a new Spider-Man story usually. They're pretty deep. Uh, Wakanda number one. Miracle Men number zero. Um, Wakanda number one might be interesting to read that a little bit before Black Panther 2 comes out, because I think Black Panther 2 is either coming out later this year or early next year. Uh, even though 
Black Panther will not be in it. Um, a lot of this is about Miracle Man, Spider Man. Um, looks like this might be like your different variant covers for Spider Man number one. Um, end of the Spider Verse is here. More Loon is back, and he's not alone. Allied to all those powerful beings known to the Spider-Verse, the scariest Spider-Villain of all time, is making his biggest play, and now spider is safe, especially not the chosen Spider himself, Peter Parker. With Peter working for Norman Osborn and using a glider, does he have it coming? Spidey's 60th anniversary is no joke. As two of the most legendary spider creators are working together on Spidey for the first time, you know, it's going to be one for the record book, so... They're doing this Spider-Man number one for the 60th anniversary, and I'll be fighting more Loon, who's like a legendary Spider-Man villain. And, uh, I absolutely love this variant cover. I don't know if you guys can look at this variant cover right there. That's a really sick variant cover. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, Axe Judgment Day. Let's see if there's anything here that stands out. X, X Men number one, Eternals number one. Let's see some things coming up. Oh, it's X X Men and X Eternals. So that might be something going on there. Oh, I see. X stands for Avengers X Men Eternals. So they're doing this crossover event between the Avengers, the X Men, and the Eternals. And you have X Men uh, Eternals number one. Here's an Axe Iron Fist number one and a Star Fox number one. So this is like it's a pretty big crossover event. There's a Fantastic Four comic that's wrapped up in this. Captain Marvel Axe. So this is a big crossover event right now. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that strikes my fancy. Moon Knight Annual number one. If you're into Moon Knight, the recent show on Disney Plus that was very well received by people, very well done. So the annual number one for Moon Knight's coming up. That's kind of cool. They have like an old, uh, like horror comic, old school, like how comics used to be. Dracula Lives, the Tomb of Dracula, number one Night of the Vampire. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. And then here's another Moon Knight comic. Coming out, Crypt of the Shadows, number one. Looks like you have Moon Knight, Swamp Thing, Wolverine. Um, there's some interesting characters involved here. Alright. Um, well, I didn't realize this was coming out. I, I should try and find issue one, but... Midnight Suns number two of five, little mini series. I'll read anything with Doctor Doom in it. Doctor Doom's probably one of my favorite just characters in comics. I love Doctor Doom. Uh, Strange Academy. Wakanda number one of five. Yeah, there we go. Namor the Submariner. He has. I've never been into Namor the Submariner, but. We have a name or the Submariner number one coming out, Conquered Shores. So, if you like Name or the Submariner, um, not gonna get into all this. Amazing Spider Man number 11 and 12. He's facing off against the Hobgoblin. I've ever been a big fan of the Hobgoblin, but number 11 and 12, you have a Hobgoblin storyline coming up in the Amazing Spider Man. This is interesting. Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one of five. So a little five-issue mini-series coming out. Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Uh, a revolutionary dark take on Spider-Man begins here. What is reality and what is a dream? What is science and what is magic? At the intersection of all this stands the Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Peter Parker goes to Los Angeles and what he finds there are definitely not angels. The demons waiting for Peter are going to test him like never before. One demon in particular, a very famous one for Marvel and X fans, might just eat Spider-Man alive. And look at this. All-out Avengers. You have Doctor Doom 
with Captain America's shield and Mjolnir. I might have to check out All Out Avengers because that's a big fan of that. Like I said, big Doctor Doom fan. Alright, this is very thick and I could go all day looking through this preview. Um, so I'm not going to because, like I said, it would take all day. Um, there's a Mandalorian comic. This one has Grogu on it. So if you're into the Mandalorian, into Star Wars. I always forget that Marvel has that Star Wars comic book license. Alright, so that was some of my recent comic book pickups. Like I said, I kind of just wanted to strike while the iron was hot because I just put up that DC video the other day. Um, tomorrow will be Geocaster. Day after tomorrow, Knights of the Old Republic. Back to FIFA. After Knights of the Republic, then it's time for Australian Currency. Just to give everybody an idea of what's coming up, that's my schedule for the rest of uh, the next few days. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Here is all the books in there. Snacked up glory. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Just like this every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.